Now the type of an operator which helps or which provides us a kind of an operation that you can perform on operands are a bitwise operator. With the name as it indicates bitwise. So the operation that you perform on the operands would be bitwise. So every value for an example an integer value a which is 10 or 65 should be converted into a binary number and these binary numbers should be in zeros and one. Similarly, the rest of the operand values are also to be converted into these binary values. So this bitwise operators who supports them? You have integer data types which are supported for this bit type like you have int, short, long, byte, char. Why do you use a char? Where a char is nothing but it represents a character. But every character, every single character has certain binary value associated with it. We have taken here an example of A and B. We have provided the binary value of A and binary value of B. And certain example where it tries calculating the binary or bitwise operation on these two operands. It may be AND, OR, XOR or negative. So let us understand in detail about each of these operations. In the first one it says bitwise AND where AND is nothing but both the operands operator or the bitwise value should be same that is if both the operands has the bit value of 1 the resulting will also be 1 and if any of them is 0 the resulting value will be 0. In the next one it says bitwise or where it says either of the bit value of A or B should be 1 therefore the resulting value will be 1. In XOR it says that either of them being 0 or either of them being 1 it will be 0. Let us go back to our previous slide to further understand about it. We have here 0 1 the resulting value is 1, 0 0 the resulting value is 0, 1 1 and the resulting value is 0. So what it does is that if either of the operand has a bit value as 1 the resulting value will be 1 and if both of them are 0 or both of them are 1 the resulting value will be 0. The next one is the bitwise complement which is exactly opposite to the value that you provide. Then you have left side, right shift and then 0 right shift. Left shift does nothing but it shifts the binary value or the bitwise value twice on the left hand side. Why twice? You can give any number 2 times, 3 times whatever number you give it will move so many number times. Similarly, it works on the right hand side but this right side is different with zero right side. In case of right side, it will move the bit twice or thrice on the number of times you provide on the right hand side when the left side it will remain the same. For an example, you have a value called 00111100 and you have to move this value twice on the right hand side. What will be the resulting value? It will move 00, 11, 11, 00. So these two zero which is on the right hand side will come front and the resulting value will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So in case of this right shift, it will not provide the output as 0, 0, 0, 0. It will just provide the output as 1, 1, 1, 1, ignoring the zeros. Whereas in case of the last one, zero fill right shift, it will provide you those zeros as well. To better understand how this each of the bitwise operator work, we have created here a class called test and we will perform certain operands on A, B and C to understand how does each of the bitwise operator work and we will see the output. We have created a class called bitwise operator with the main method to explain how bitwise operator functions. We have created three variables a, b, c with the value as 60, 13, 0 respectively. Why c is 0? To hold the value of a and b into it. We have printed the a and b value as a binary number which is read as 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. But this is the wrong way to read. We need to usually read from the backward which should be 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So let us see the functions now. The first one says that C is equal to A and B which is nothing but AND operator and AND operator how it function is that both the bit value of the operand should be 1. 
if either of them is 0 the value the resulting value becomes 0 so how it functions 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 is 1 because both of them should be 1 1 1 again 1 1 0 is 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this is the resulting value of c let us print this value which should be in system dot out dot print ln and the string that you would want to display should be under inverted commas which is a and b is equal to with the value that you would want to print and this value is printed with the plus operator so c holds the value as a and b the next function is a or b a or b how it function is that either of the bit value of the operands should be 1 therefore the resulting value will be 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 therefore the resulting value is 61 and it will be printed the next is a xor b in this case how it functions let us see that 0 1 is 1 0 0 is again 0 1 1 is 0 why in this case in the case of a x or b only one of the bit of the operand can be 1 if both are both of them are 0 or 1 the resulting value becomes 0 so the following is 1 0 is 1 1 0 is 1 0 0 is 0 0 0 is 0 let us print the value of c now the next is c, uh, c is equal to a negative that is opposite value of a the current value of a is 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 so in this case it will flip the bit value of a 0 will become 1 and 1 will become 0 so the value will be 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 now it is a negative value which is minus 61 again we will print this value of c the next is a left side 2 it means the value of a operand would move 2 times on the left side a value is 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 so it should move on the left side left side means this 1 1 will replace 0 0 this 1 1 will come in this 1 1 place and this 0 0 which will be moved will go back so the value will become 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 because these two values are moving on the right hand side the next is a right side 2 therefore the operand value will move twice the right side this number can change to it you can change by 3 4 the number of positions or the bit value that you would want to move in here we have taken 2 so a value should move 2 times the right side therefore the value would be this 1 1 will play 0 0 1 1 will come to this place and the 0 0 moves the resulting value is 1 1 1 1 next it says a right side 2 here again you are moving the operand value of a twice but you are printing the zeros as well so as we have seen if you are moving twice the value becomes 1 1 1 1 but what are the zeros what happened to them they have moved on the right side so it becomes 0 0 0 0 let us now save this file and run to see the output you can see now the value as a and b is 12 a or b is 61 then 49 minus 61 to 40 and the last two value will not change it is 15 and 15 although whether it is printing the zeros or it is printing the zeros or not the value remains 15.